Welcome to Computer Basics, Episode 14, Conditional Formatting in Excel. In this video, you'll learn what conditional formatting is and how to apply highlight cells rules, top bottom rules, data bars, color scales, icon sets, and how to manage your rules. What is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting is a way to make data easier to read. It changes the appearance of data based on its value. The conditional formatting option is found under the Home tab in the Styles area. There are several different rules you can set up to format your data. Highlight cells rules. Examples of this rule include highlighting cells greater than a specific value, containing a specific date, or are duplicated. To create a highlight cells rule, select all the cells you'd like to apply it to. On the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting. Hover your mouse over Highlight Cells Rules. For this example, I'll be using the Greater Than rule, but all of the Highlight Cells Rules work similarly in that you choose a rule, then set a number or date. Enter the number you'd like to use as your set point. Choose how you'd like the cells to format. You can click each one to preview how it will look on your sheet. Once you decide on a format, click OK to apply the rule. Now all of the New York Times fiction bestsellers of 2021 that appeared on the list for more than 10 weeks is highlighted. Clear Rules Clear Rules deletes all conditional formatting rules but is only applied to the selected cells. To delete the conditional formatting, select the cells you want to clear. Click Conditional Formatting. Hover your mouse over Clear Rules. Click Clear Rules from selected cells. Top bottom rules include highlighting the top 10 items, items that are above average, or items in the bottom 20%. Select the cells you want to apply the formatting to. Click Conditional Formatting. Hover your mouse over Top Bottom Rules. For this example, I'll demonstrate top 10 items, but like the Highlight Cells rules, most of the rules are similar in their application. Click Top 10 Items. Indicate how many of the top items you want to highlight. Choose how you want to format the cells. Again, you can click through to see how they look. Once you've chosen the format, click OK. Data bars. This applies graphic bars in a cell in proportion to its value. First, select your cells. Click Conditional Formatting. Hover over Data bars. Hover over the different gradient or solid fills to preview the graphic. Click the graphic you want to apply. Color scales. This applies a background color to a cell in proportion to its value. First, select your cells. To apply, click Conditional Formatting. Hover over Color Scales. Hover over the different color scale schemes to determine which you'd like to apply. Click the color scheme to apply it. Icon sets. This displays an icon in a cell in proportion to its value. First, select your cells. Click conditional formatting. Hover over icon sets. Hover over the different icon options to preview the icons. Click the icon you want to select. Manage Rules Under Conditional Formatting, there's a Manage Rules option. Under this option, you can create a new rule, edit a rule, delete a rule, or duplicate a rule. This area is helpful when you have multiple data points and rules applied to each. Most of this information came from books at our library. Here are my top three favorite books on Microsoft Excel that contain information about conditional formatting. Microsoft Excel 2019 Step-by-Step -Step by Curtis Fry. Excel 2019 Bible by Michael Alexander, Dick Kuzaiki, and John Walkenbach. And Excel 2019 Business Basics and Beyond by Smitty Smith. That's it for this episode of Computer Basics. Our vision at the Southfield Public Library is we help people succeed. If you're working on a goal in your personal life or at work, any goal, big or small, we're here to help you. Please reach out and help us fulfill your vision and ours.